Hey everybody, Mike Naso here from IPR365.com and PodWeather.com with the latest on the tropics. We do have the first hurricane of the 2009 Atlantic hurricane season with Hurricane Bill. But I want to get first to Claudette, which made landfall this morning, uh, early this morning in uh, the Fort Walton Beach area of Florida. Now, as of 5 a.m. Eastern, 4 a.m. Central, Claudette was at 30.9 north, 87.0 west. Winds had decreased since landfall from uh, 50 down to 40, still gusting to 50. It's moving northwest at 11. Pressure was down a bit before landfall to 1,006 millibars. It had been up about 1,008. You can see it's moved in the last 24 hours right on up into the panhandle. Should continue to move this afternoon throughout the state of Alabama and then into Mississippi and eventually Tennessee by tomorrow afternoon and dissipate, and it won't be a feature that we'll have to concern ourselves with, uh, at least not uh, as we have the last 24 hours. And again, in just 24 hours, the system spun up. And uh, good thing that the shear started to impact it because it looked pretty good yesterday afternoon, like it might be trying to even form an eye wall. The center of the storm, uh, you can see on this radar image here, is right in this region here, just entering the state of Alabama. Most of the heavy weather is still over towards Tallahassee and Fort Walton Beach and Panama City. This whole area here in the Panhandle is moving on in, and you could have some uh, flooding, torrential rains, and severe weather with that. Uh, I was talking to Michael Moss earlier, and he said there was one tornado that uh, Claudette help spawn, so we'll wait and see if there is any other severe weather with this system. Now we do have Tropical Depression Ana as well as at 5 a.m. It was at 16.6 north, 63.9 west. Winds were down to 35, gusting to 45, quickly moving west-northwest at 27, 1,008 millibars. And uh, if you uh, look at the track here, it is expected to open up into a tropical wave. It may be one now and move over Hispaniola tomorrow and then Cuba on Wednesday and move back out over water, but not redevelop until it gets to the Florida Panhandle. Uh, the reason for this is that there is great uncertainty. Does Claudette, or I'm sorry, does Anna uh, continue to move further to the south and maybe stay over the Caribbean more? Uh, does it end up more in the middle, uh, central, western Gulf? Uh, does it continue more to the north and end up over the Bahamas and the east coast? There is a lot of uncertainty with the track, and that has a lot to do with the intensity. Uh, if Claudette, there I go again, if uh, Anna continued uh, to move west, uh, who knows? It could always come back big time in the Western Caribbean and in, into the Gulf of Mexico. But the thinking is right now with that west-northwest motion so quick, whatever's left of it will move on over Hispaniola and it may not survive. But a system this tenacious that has been around this long uh, bears watching because uh, it's always those little ones that are weakened and dissipate and then come back or don't look good uh, and they come back really bad. Here's the model guidance for Anna, and you can see that it does continue it basically right on off towards the uh, west-northwest over Hispaniola, over Cuba. Some of the BAM models want to turn it more westward in the Gulf. Others want to curve it north and then northeast. Others just want to keep it moving northwest. So there is uncertainty, but whatever's left of it uh, is what we're going to have to deal with down the road. Now we do have Hurricane Bill. Now here's the latest on Hurricane Bill as of 5 a.m. It was at 13.8 north, 44.0 west. Winds were 75 miles an hour gusting to 90, moving quickly west-northwest at 21, 987 millibars. And uh, Bill is forecast to become a major hurricane by uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday and then continue to move west-northwest, then northwest, then north-northwest generally in the general direction of Bermuda here. So if you are in Bermuda, uh, remember what Fabian did uh, in 03. That was, jeez, six years ago. Seems like yesterday, but uh, that right eye wall of uh, Category 2-3 Hurricane Fabian went right over the island and caused a lot of damage. So uh, if you are in that island, and even if you're still in the northern islands, the Bahamas and uh, Cape Hatteras northward and the Canadian Maritimes, keep an eye on Bill. Any of those areas that I highlighted in red there uh, could feel the wrath of Bill if something goes wrong. Now, the general thinking right now with the model guidance, except for the pesky UK Met, the UK Met is taking a lot more west, but it's a uh, good old model, so you always got to keep in mind that it could be correct. Uh, most of the model guidance does have it turning even east of Bermuda and then heading out to sea. Uh, there's always the slim possibility that if Bill kind of 
fiddles around down here and slows down and moves up that the weakness would close and that bill might get pushed back more towards the west but that does not appear to be the case we have a very large trough coming in that's going to be slow moving as it sweeps in and pushes bill out but that does not mean that it can't have an impact on land masses now there's a satellite imagery of Anna and Bill, and Bill certainly is looking great there on the right side of your screen. You can see it there, uh, currently uh, not showing too much of an eye, but looks like some dry air might have gotten in there, but it's going to continue in this direction and strengthen. Anna moved through the islands and uh, really looking like a tropical wave. You can see in that loop there as it moves through. Uh, not very uh, symmetric, not a good circulation with it, and it may be a tropical wave as we speak, but it's got some good bursting going on, so might have to deal with it. The bottom line with the tropics, Tropical Storm Claudette has made landfall, is currently here over the Florida Panhandle, moving into uh, areas of, uh, towards areas of Alabama, and then we have Ana, or at least what's left of it, moving up towards Hispaniola, Cuba. This whole mess is going to move in the general vicinity of the Gulf of Mexico over the next, say, four or five days. So uh, we saw how fast Claudette develops, so don't rule out Ana coming back. And uh, there's Bill. Bill looking like it's moving in this general direction, expected to continue, and then gradually go more northerly, and then make a turn. Does it do that to the west of Bermuda? Does it do it further east? Or does it even get closer to the islands and land masses than we think? That's the big question right now. Those are probably the three most probable tracks, with the one of most concern being the far left one, but the one of most likelihood being uh, this one right here in the middle. So uh, Bill definitely spinning up the first hurricane of the 2009 Atlantic hurricane season. Guillermo weakening out in the Pacific, not going to be an issue for Hawaii, going to go to the north, and that'll do it this time for the tropics.